Good evening. Wow, I look so tanned and I have a mosquito bite under my eyebrow, but Jas and I have just landed in Luang Prabang, Laos. Um, it's about, what time it is? Um, hold on, two seconds. It's just gone half seven p.m. Okay, so it's evening and we've just checked into our hotel, which I cannot pronounce right now because it's quite a long name. Okay, it's called Maison Suvanapum. I think that's how they pronounce it. But this hotel used to be the prince's home in 1974. <laughs> My home, and they're not allowed to make any changes because it's a historical building. So let me just show you our room because it's quite nice. You can tell it's old school because they gave us like a really big key <laughs> ring with a key and you have to leave it in reception yeah. um, every time you leave the hotel. But this is our room. It's actually really cute. Sorry, my shoes, let me take them off. They're really squeaky. Look at this, they've got robes for us on the bed. This is a bit like Thai, how they say Sawadika. And they've got robes on the bed. It's quite a big bed. <laughs> Randomly placed chair. Oh, they've got slippers for us and everything. <laughs> That's actually quite cute. They've got complimentary water and then I think they've got a mini bar. They said that they charge you for drinks. Um, What's this? Oh, look, password for the Wi-Fi. Citronella. This is for mosquitoes, right? So you can. I love the smell of this one. Is that the smell? There was incense, but there isn't any more that you can light yourself. Oh, look, tea, coffee, complimentary, and um, this be the mini bar. Do we have a balcony? Yeah, we have a balcony. Oh, I okay, I'll take you out there tomorrow. I can see the pool from here. Oh. Can you? Well, they're I don't know. Hmm. Let's quickly take you into the bathroom, which is very compact. Um, there's a loo. There's a shower. And a tiny little sink. Oh, it's quite cute in here. We just left our hotel to walk to the night market and as we were driving from the airport to the hotel I saw loads of people wearing like coats and jackets and hoodies and I thought what's wrong with them they're crazy I'm actually a bit cold and I can't believe I'm saying this I mean granted I am wearing a vest top and shorts but are you cold? No I'm actually alright actually yeah I'm alright. I'm like really cold <laughs> um, I only have like one jumper that I wore on the flight here and which is also now dirty somehow because it was stupid I bought a cream sweatshirt um, this might have to be my whole outfit for the week. Those guys are wearing hoodies as well. It's quite a nice fountain. No, the weather's cooler. I mean, I'm not cold, but it's definitely... I'm quite chilly. Hopefully this isn't as scary as trying to cross the road in Vietnam. But this is the night market, I believe, I think. So here we go. This is like the food part of the market. This is all mushrooms. I've been walking through this market for what seems like ages and it's actually quite nice because nobody like harasses you or asks you anything they just say hello if that it's very different to um, Siem Reap and to Ho Chi Minh where they're constantly on you saying please buy something or what do you want to buy before you've even like had a chance to see what they're actually selling come across this place but I don't think I fancy eating something that's been sitting out here it says it's a uh, 40,000 kit per dish which is two pounds I think I'm gonna get a roti and they do like sweet ones but they also do savory yeah they do like just they do like spicy and they do onion and cheese which I might get Egg, no egg. <laughs> and I have another one omelette chicken. Yeah, you like with the egg? Yeah, no egg. Then see you can put egg. Yeah, you can put egg. So I got a cheese and onion roti, and what did you get? A chicken and omelette, spicy one. Okay, so this is good, but I can't get over how much oil and butter he puts on here, so 
I don't really know about this. <laughs> it is 5.20 in the morning. Um, I've been wiped out for the past 24 hours with food poisoning. But anyway, we are off to um, take part in the almsgiving ceremony where you feed the monks. So I'll take you with me. Right, I'm going to oh. pack for the monks' arrival. So you sit here and take your shoes off, yeah, and the monks come from that direction. I have been completely wiped out for over 24 hours. I had some kind of food poisoning and I still don't feel 100% but um, I was just constantly sleeping all day yesterday, had zero energy, my legs felt really weak and I finally managed to have some dinner which I also threw up last night so it wasn't great. I feel a little bit better today, I still feel quite delicate so I'm taking it easy but it's really cold here in Laos. Um, I've got a vest top and a t-shirt on because I was not prepared. But this morning we woke up at um, 4.30 to do the almsgiving ceremony on the road. So the monks line the streets and you basically offer them some food. And I had read that it's not the best thing to do the actual ceremony. It's better to view it from a distance if you want to take photos and see what's going on and stuff like that. And actually we did both. So it was nice that we went further down the road. It was a bit weird because outside our hotel it was just me and Jess. And it was like, okay, we'll probably their first stop. And then obviously further along towards like the night market, um, there were loads more people and people selling you like the food and stuff to give to the monks. So that was quite nice to see. But now I'm just sat on the balcony and um, I think we're gonna head off to like an elephant sanctuary today. I feel so weird, but I need to just get out and not stay in bed and not nap. <laughs> We've just stumbled upon like a local's fruit and veg market. This is very not touristy. It's so cool. Sorry? Sugar cane, yeah. Look at these aubergines. Mm. Isn't it? That's what we had with our welcome drinks at the hotel. And just like that, there's a motorbike coming through the market. <laughs> wow. What is that? Are these crabs? Whoa. Oh my god, they're crabs. What do you that? No, I can't look at this one. nightmares. Oh, Jeff, stop it. No. 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 Oh dear god, just when I thought this couldn't get worse. What is this? Jeff, what is that? Oh my god, just stop it. I can't. I'm actually going to throw up. 
I'm gonna throw up, I'm gonna throw up. We are idiots, well not me, Jas. <laughs> I kept saying to him as we were walking down, how can there be an elephant sanctuary on what looks like a high street? <laughs> yeah, it turns out it's just called Elephant Sanctuary on Google Maps. Well, there's an elephant here. It's the office to book like your tour to the elephant sanctuary. Well, we've missed it for today anyway, because you have to go first thing in the morning. Um, and it's like 10, 10 a.m. or something. And they pick you up at 8.30, but this is what it is. So there's an elephant village, and you can book a full or a half day experience, or even a two day experience, which obviously we haven't got time for. But I do need to obviously check out whether this is ethical before we actually um, book it or not, because everything says that it's responsible tourism, but you just don't know. The place next door does the same thing as well. This one's a lot more expensive. It's eighty dollars per person, but they have an afternoon tour. Um, does it go to the same place? Or, well, this one doesn't include a waterfall, right? The other no, one it did. Well, it's double the price. I think he just said because uh, he knows we want to go, and he said have still have two places available. Yeah, no, just leave it. Leave it. In a little convenience shop and. Um, Look at this, I had this in the Philippines and I loved it. Sweet corn flavoured soy milk. That was so good. We've just come to this like very fancy looking coffee shop called the Coffee Club and we sat outside um, on the balcony upstairs. I still feel too delicate to really eat or drink anything that's not basically toast, water or um, Coke Zero, which is what I'm about to order, but I've seen an espresso orange, which somebody I know, well, I think they have been to Laos, but I don't know if it was here, said um, coffee with orange is incredible and that you have to try it just there. So I'm making Jas order it. Mm. <laughs> I don't think I can try it. It's basically orange juice and coffee and it's four US dollars. I just feel too delicate. I think I just feel too delicate right now to be trying weird things. We've literally been sat in this cafe for like two hours or maybe an hour, I don't know. Um, it's so nice in here, it's so nice and chilled. I love Lao, even though I've not really done anything here so far because I've just been ill. It's so chilled, it's a really like slow pace of life. Not that touristy, like there are obviously tourists, but it's a very under underrated place and so it's not like full of tourists and like loads of people visiting. It's just a really chilled out place and people don't hassle you here um, when you're shopping or walking the streets asking for a taxi or anything like that. It's just so nice and I think this is a really great, like if you're doing like an Indochina trip like we have, this is a really nice like place to end your travels because it feels like the holiday that you sometimes need after like traveling around Asia. Um, it's been great but I'm, <laughs> still nursing my same coke zero don't feel 100 percent yet um just feeling a little bit a bit scared to eat anything like just has just gone and ordered some chips but i just don't want to be oh hello okay so it turns out he ordered himself a beer <laughs> here is so friendly i didn't realize the waitress was waiting for me to stop vlogging um but i'm just i was saying i'm just a bit too scared to eat anything just because i feel like, I don't know, I never really throw up in general, um, ever. I don't really allow myself to, so yesterday was really weird for me. Um, I just don't feel great, so I don't really want to eat, which I know isn't a good thing, because it is currently 1.30 p.m. lunchtime. Um, but I'll have something at dinner, I'll be fine, you know. Jas has just ordered some chips for himself, and I have to admit they do smell good. It's actually such a shame, because if you've been watching all my previous vlogs of this Asia trip, we've only really been in each city for about three days max, and I've been writing up blog posts on like, all the best vegan places in the city, but we've only really been eating one meal a day, because it's been so hot, and we've just not been hungry. I've only really had like three, maybe five restaurants max to write about per blog post. We're in Laos for the longest period of time, but I've just lost my appetite. There's loads of great vegan options here. So many great vegan restaurants I found. One we went to yesterday, which looked excellent, but I just couldn't eat anything. Um, so it's a massive shame, but you know what? It is what it is. We're now just on our way to a vegan cooking class at a restaurant called Tamarind. I found this online before we left home and um, luckily they had spaces on their evening class this evening so I wasn't sure how I was feeling so I didn't want to book anything in advance. Um, it's about four and a half hours long, I hope I've got enough camera battery because I haven't been 
very good at charging this um, since we arrived in Laos. And we're actually just waiting for our first um, tuk tuk here. The tuk tuks here are even bigger than in Siem Reap. And in Siem Reap, they were pretty big compared to the ones in Thailand. So it's really weird. But um, it's going to cost us 50,000 kip, which is about just over two dollars about one pound fifty or so but we didn't want to walk because it's like a 25 minute walk away from our hotel and the address said unnamed road and i was like are we i don't understand how you find something like that so that's what we're doing anyway oh is this our guy yeah look these tuk tuks are massive this is quite cool spacious yeah it is not as scary as I thought because you could just slide out the back. <laughs> Here we are, the Tamarind Restaurant and Cooking School. I'm not entirely sure what we signed up for, but I think we're somewhere quite high up in the mountains because the temperature has really just dropped. definitely quite high up in the mountains not obviously right at the top but um, we've just been given an apron and a towel we need to wash our hands and then the cooking class is about to start here not for her right? not for no you. not for me thank you I must cheer for me but yeah. the first, <laughs> first day today I will take your hand to cook a dipping sauce you don't put yes maybe next day so you can fish them in banana leaf you can use mm. okay and so the last one, salt. salt. And this one, fish salt from Thailand. And so your salt. Thank you. And from uh, fish salt from, from factory. Okay. Umami. Okay. Umami. Umami, yeah. Umami. And lemon glass, tomato or tomato. How you say? Tomato. tomato. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, doesn't matter. Too much, too much. Yeah, in French, yeah, too much. Too much. Okay, lamb, chili, pepper, coffee, lamb leaf. You know, coffee, lamb leaf, really good smell. They put it tom yum soup, green curry. Today, I will take you how to cook the um, fish steam in banana leaf. You this one. In Thailand, it's Thai basil, but now it's large lamb basil. Yeah? <laughs> Same basil. In French, the bass leaf. Yeah? Okay, it's an aubergine, long egg cream. I will take you how to cook the dipping sauce today. Okay, now you can hold bamboo with number four. For her, you go there. Yeah. Now you put water and rice into the bamboo steamer. Do I drain this? Okay, now, no. Now no. you put water and rice. Everything you got just water. Everything into the bamboo steamer. Okay, yeah. now it's. Yeah. Okay, now you put water and rice. You take into the bamboo steamer. Oh, yeah, finish. finish. Yeah. And then you can clean the bowl with your hand. <laughs> Sorry, uh, you can you can pull it with uh, water in the bowl. Okay. Teamwork. Okay, like this. Okay, you can pull it with water in the bowl. Okay. Jab. Jab the army pie. Mostly we make from the chili. That's a spicy dipping sauce. But you can sauce. make from anything. Yeah. <laughs> That's the chilies. Yeah. Should I just do it? Yeah, just maybe like two skewers. Okay. Be careful. Yeah. Be careful. Be careful. Be careful. Come on, do this. Yeah? Sorry, the tomatoes. Yeah, come on. Yeah. One for you and one for you. Does it matter which way tomatoes are? Okay. No. Go on, Jess. Yes, sir. 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 So we're just roasting our veg. How, how have we got aubergine and tomato? We're making two dips. Oh, how do we have tomatoes? Yeah. Well, you meant get the skin off, right? Yeah. The skin just peels off quite easily. Yeah. Oh, oh. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it does, yeah. <laughs> Live music. Yeah. Dinner music. Yeah. And cut two or three times and put inside your power again. And for the tomato, you take you peel the skin off first, <laughs> yeah, and then you cut half. Oh, yours is good. Okay. 
I've got a messy chopping board. Not bad. Not bad. Okay, mokpa fish steam in banana leaf in love with all mokpa. I didn't film this process, but um, I'm making something to do with mushrooms. It's got lemongrass, dill, chili, shallots, um, soy sauce. A little bit water. A okay. bit of beer. Okay, and one tablespoon of the beer. <laughs> yeah. Okay, a little bit water, no, not beer. Oh, oh, oh. Really? oh. Oh dear, he tried the best. You took, it, you took his instructions too seriously. Uh -huh. You have cut the fish. This is not up your fish. I've got mushrooms. Okay, cynic. Thank you. How we cut the fish? Did you feel dress? Yeah, full of like a pro. Yeah. Oh, don't Gordon Ramsay should have learned uh, from me now. Oh, stop it. It's because there's bone in it, he said. <laughs> I can't look. Oh, yeah. So I've got my two banana leaves, like this. Oh, two, two, oh, two, yeah. And I've got some of my mushroom. Some of my mushroom now, mixture. Got Sorry? No oh, sugar. Or oh, the mushroom, not, not the juice, yeah? Oh, not the juice. Not the juice, okay. okay. Oh, I see. Ah. Okay, I'll put all my juice on one. Okay. Um, yeah, now it's it. Yeah. Cool. 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 In the middle. Like, like, like that. Mm -hmm. Then you put in the middle up, like a fish tail, right? And you put one side first, one side there. Oh, see. Put yep. sauce in all yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And one side. Up. Uh, yes. Now, time for everything inside. So yeah. hold it this way. Yeah, yeah. Now open, okay? Yeah. Oh, you see. Okay. Ah. Okay. 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 And do the same. Brilliant. And then, thank uh, you. Up, no. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, up in the middle. Like that. Okay, and then you have one side. Now you make nice packet, right? Thank okay, you. better you. than me. Oh, so <laughs> I don't know about that. I lose my job tomorrow. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I lose my job tomorrow. Right? <laughs> okay, and you stop here. You stop near the wind strip, wind space. Oh yeah. The the juice come out. Oh, I see. You just stop at the end. Oh, okay, good. Oh, what is here? You twist this. Oh uh, yeah. Sorry. Okay. This one. Stop here and here. Okay, and then top. And up. Okay. I think you twist it around so now to kind of see a little bit. Like this, I think. Okay, and then the. Oh, sorry. 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 Okay, and then you stop at the end. Okay, and twist again. Stop here. Okay, and twist. Like, I'm assuming it's that. I think I'll twist your mine around, but... Okay, you're bring it packet? Yeah, I think you're bringing it around. Oh, look, I'm impressed with mine. Not sure I'll be winning any awards for this, but... Um, hmm, quite happy with that, actually. Yeah, spring onion root. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. spring onion root for me. You are spring onion leaf. Okay, thank you. You are team spring onion. You remember your spring onion, okay? Yes. Leaf. Thank you. Okay, now we have two more to cook. Now we have two more to cook before we are going to thank dinner. You. Okay. Chicken mince mm -hmm. and four vegetarian. Mm -hmm. Vegetarian I boy uh, potato, you make like a mud potato in lemongrass. Okay. Mud potato and black mushroom and grass noodle. Oh. Same ingredient, yeah? Amazing, thank okay, you. Okay, prepare the mince chicken, put the mince chicken. Okay. Two halves. Okay, then you will be like a chicken, you will be like a chicken. All of it? Yeah, yeah. Oh. Made some stuffed huh? lemongrass. About uh, 15 or 20 minutes. Okay. Uh, very cool. okay so I've just made this chicken. dessert. Come back, for chicken. Come yeah. back for your chicken, yeah. Um, and this is all the vegetarian dishes, he said. Oh, that's exciting. So this is the aubergine dip that I made. Just made a tomato one. We just made a uh, sticky rice pudding. And then these are some of the vegan dishes. This is also what I made. It was mashed potato stuffed with um, inside lemongrass. Well, let you know I had a small food on the table, right? Like I told you before. Okay, I had a small bowl in the middle. This is a peanut sauce. You know, peanut sauce always serve with a stuffed chicken in lemongrass. Lemongrass inside the white one really soft. You can eat inside. You know outside you can chew it. 
and take off. Really good flavor. And second one, five green pumpkin. It's a vegetarian. Yeah, five green pumpkin. Oh, okay. And you know the the dark one is the five. Green, we put the oyster inside. Yeah. And this yeah, this one is a bamboo soup. The dark one, the soup is a bamboo soup. Last one is a buffalo lamb. Yeah, in the middle. Lamb. Buffalo oh, lamb. Buffalo. Buffalo wow. Buffalo mm. For vegetarian, I have the tofu lamb. Yeah. Okay. Tofu salad. Okay. First, you have to eat fish steam in banana leaf first. If you leave it long time, it's will be cold, it's not too good. Oh, okay. okay, you can eat fish. Fish first. Thank you. Oh, okay, <laughs> okay, have a good... We're back from our cooking class. Um, that was a really, really good class. It was quite expensive, I would say, for Lao. Um, $30 per person is what it cost us. I was the only vegan there and they provided like all the mushrooms and all the tofu instead of the chicken and the fish and stuff like that. Um, it was really, really good. It's a shame I couldn't really eat much of the food and it's not because it was necessarily bad. It was just that because I've had this like horrible food poisoning, whatever it is, I've just not had an appetite and I just don't feel like I can eat anything that isn't like toast or something that's like not cooked. I don't know, I just don't feel really myself. Um, but yeah, I would highly recommend that actually. It was through a restaurant called Tamarind and they drive you like 20 minutes away, quite high up into the mountains, I would say. It was quite cold. They didn't tell us until we arrived because I think we booked at the last minute to say that it gets quite cold up there because I'm wearing shorts and a t-shirt, as was Jas. <laughs> She's like, we've got four coats. It wasn't cold in the beginning, but as the night goes on, it does get a little bit cold. It's, it's still like 18 or 19 degrees, but I don't know, it was just a bit chilly. I thought my legs are quite cold. I was covered in bites. They do say to bring insect repellent, um, which I did, but I just don't think any amount of DEET is enough for me. Anyway. Tomorrow we've got quite a long day. We're going to Quangxi Waterfall. So I think I'm going to end this video here because it's been quite long already. But I really hope you enjoyed watching it. And I will see you in my next one, which will be my last travel vlog from Asia. So thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.